Hi, I am Antaryami and welcome to my channel. In this video, I will explain you about ecological niches. So many of you may have some doubts between or confusion between habitats and niche. So habitat particularly describe the area under which a species can reproduce and grow whereas ecological niche describes how the species interact with its, with its ecosystem. So the niche of a species depends on both biotic as well as abiotic factor which affects its ability to survive and reproduce. Ecological niche can be better explained with the help of Hutchinson model of niche as hypervolume which relates relative fitness of the species with environmental variable. So niche can be described by relating fitness of the species to the environmental variable by the help of species tolerance range. Tolerance is the organism's capacity to survive variation in environmental condition which ultimately influence its distribution. If we start with a single factor, for example temperature, then we can see under optimal set of temperature, the fitness is highest. And if we increase or decrease the temperature, the fitness gradually decrease, decreases. And after some, after certain limit, we can see the fitness become zero, that is zone of intolerance. If we add another variable, for example prey size, then we can see there are two distinct zones. The green area defines the set of condition under which species can survive and reproduce but fitness is low whereas red area shows high fitness zone. So the red area is the zone where the temperature is optimal as well as it can avoid the predation. Now if we add another variable then we can see again there is three distinct zones. Yellow volume defines set of condition under which animal can survive and reproduce. Red volume defines area of higher fitness and green zone is the area of highest fitness. That is under this condition there is optimal condition for temperature as well as to avoid the predation. If we again add further axis or further variable it will result in a hyper volume which is a range if condition defines by many axes, which defines the set of condition under which animal can survive and reproduce effectively. So hypervolume idea is good for illustration, but not all axes are environmental, some axes are behavioral. Not all axes ordered linearly, because some of the behavioral factors such as antipredator behavior, it increases the niche breadth. Because by having the anti-predator behavior, it can easily uh, avoid the predator, predation. So it will increase its niche size. So that's why it is not ordered linearly. Now there are two different types of niche. One is fundamental and realized. Fundamental niche is the entire set of condition under which an animal can survive and reproduce. Whereas realized niche is the set of condition actually used by given animal after interaction with other species. So that's why realized niche is the post competitive. We can see here a green zone and a yellow zone. So yellow zone describes the area before competition and green zone defines area after competition. So before competition as there is resources are unlimited or uh, huge, the species can occupy a larger area. But when there is a competition, the species restrict itself to some favorable area. That's why it shrinks its niche and it converted into a realized niche. So green zone is the realized niche, yellow zone is the fundamental zone, fundamental niche. And outside this zone, there is a zero growth area or zero fitness area. Then fundamental niche that's why can be pre-competitive, realized niche is the post-competitive and fundamental niche always greater than equal to realized niche. So realized niche for different population of same species always may differ because of competition and predators between the location. For example two different community having two different sets of predator. Suppose in community A, there are more number of predators than community B. So it is expected that uh, community B species having wider 
niche as compared to species in community A because of higher amount of uh, predators where there is a low predators then they have a wider niche. Then niche breadth. Niche breadth is of two type. One is narrow niche, another is broad niche. Narrow niche is for specialist species whereas broad niche is for generalist species. That is the species which can feed on only specialized kind of diet they have a narrow niche because they only depend on certain sets of fooding type behavior or fooding types whereas broad niche or generalist species as they depends on a wide range of food their niche is broad and we can have four different types of niche overlap that is coextensive where both the species having same types of feeding behavior included where when one species have uh, uh, the uh, feeding type which is included under another feeding type for example species a having or feed on five fruits whereas species b feeds on only two fruits and these two fruits are within that five fruits which is been eaten by the species a so that's why it is included reciprocal means both the species have equal niche size but few of the food are being overlapped or be, being shared by both of them. For example, species A feed on 5 fruits, feed, species B feed on 5 fruits, whereas 2 fruits are in common between them. Similarly, asymmetric overlap suggests unequal distribution of niche breadth. That is, species A, for example, feeds on 10 different fruits, species B feeds on 5 different fruits and they have 2 fruits in common. So this is asymmetric. Now there are 2 types of non-overlapping niche, one is aborting, another is disjunct. Aborting niche are indirect evidence of niche divergence in the past because it is expected that earlier they have a common food type. Now because of exhausted or, or that food become exhausted, now they have different type of niche or different sets of niche. That's why they diverged their niche in the past. Whereas in disjunct niche, there is a no competition occur in the past. Next concept is of niche compression. So this can be explained by two different community types. One is species poor community and species rich community. Suppose the blue area is the fundamental niche for all the species. When the area occupied by species poor community or if there is if the community is species poor that is inhabited by only two species species A and B then we can see both A and B having a wider niche. But when more and more species invest to this particular habitat, A and B restrict themselves to a smaller area to avoid the competition. And this compression is known as niche compression because they are compressing their area. And this phenomenon is known as niche compression and it is done because of they try to avoid, avoid the competition between the species. So as more species invades a habitat, interspecific competition forces any single species to decrease the range of its habitat it exploits. However, the range of food eaten should either increase or remain more or less constant. That is, they have same fundamental niche, but their realized niche becomes shrinked. I hope you understand the concept of ecological niche in this particular video and I will further upload more concepts in ecology. For that you can like, subscribe and share my video. Thank you.